Okay, so I am in Papua New Guinea and I'm loving this amazing place. Um, I'm back. Two years ago I came just super briefly and it's really incredible to be able to be back and spend a little bit more time in the culture and get to see these beautiful people and the colors and the just life that exudes from them. So I'm here with the Tribal Foundation and just really excited to be partnering with them. Not only do they have incredible adventures to the most remote locations, but doing incredible work, just changing the lives of the invisible and the hurting and the people who don't have a voice. So it's it's been a really an incredible experience to be able to immerse in the culture and see people at their heart and core and be able to be a part of changing lives and bettering the lives of people from all different demographics. So I was here a couple years ago and have been involved in the anti-gender based violence campaign and their Citizen Passing campaign. It's really amazing to see how it's shaping lives and culture and rescuing people who are hurting. fun to um, immerse in their culture and it's pretty obvious been to a couple remote locations so far but this one is truly remote because just I mean crowds of little ones were running along the bank watching as the canoes pulled in they were definitely looking kind of skeptical like what is that who is that what's going on right now and um, you know one of these things is not like the others <laughs> <laughs> but such sweet people and um, it was so cute this morning playing football I don't know if they've seen a football before but you know as it's coming through the air they were like looking at it like do you run what's gonna happen and like most of the time they would just scatter and then finally some of the bigger boys were like okay I'm gonna catch this I see how this works so it's kind of fun to see um, just their imaginations and see them learning for the first time something that seems so normal to us and I'm sure at the same time they're thinking the same thing like what are they doing <laughs> in this environment <laughs> as we stumble around and um, anyway it's pretty pretty fun experience so last night you know in the rain we go out crocodile hunting and it's like pouring down rain and we're sliding around in the mud and fish jumping out of the water and hitting us while we're driving down the river and um, yeah it's just fun to see all of the things that are normal for them I think one of the things I love the most, um, especially when it kind of immersing in a culture and a community that's so far off the map, um, you know, they have so many things that we can learn from them and that you know, I've never experienced. But the one thing that is always a huge help is anything medical, like medical supplies and band-aids and first aid kits, um, even just the basics, but antibiotics are a huge deal. and. Um, so it's always a privilege to be able to bring something that's going to be truly life-changing because when you have to live with conditions that are easily treatable in Western culture um, and you don't even know it and then you get a cure, like what an incredible experience. So um, even in these remote locations, we were able to bring in some supplies, some medical supplies and just things that could be really helpful. And then for the specific things that I'm not quite sure what they are, <laughs> um, have some really great doctors that I'm in communication with who can diagnose something and kind of give us an idea of, okay, that looks like this infection or this fungal or this whatever, so that we can get them specific medications and try to get actual healing for some of these sweet, beautiful people.